Greetings, everybody. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries, in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This information first came to me and made me aware, thanks to Gail Ripplinger, who wrote the uh, a bunch of books on the uh, accuracy of the King James Bible. Um, you know, she's uh, hated among those non-King James ver uh, people. But uh, she exposed the NIV Bible and uh, among others. And then, you know, when you find out that the NIV Bible is printed by people that print gay porn and the Satanic Bible by the Church of Satan, well, guess what? Um, uh, yeah. So, all right, my suggestion is that you, uh, pause this Bible study, and what I would do is, uh, go make it a full, full screen, and then scroll through until you can read it. That would be my suggestion. So Harper, uh, I'm sorry, Zondervan Prince has exclusive print rights for the NIV. They're owned by Harper Collins, which prints gay porn in the Satanic Bible by the Church of Satan. Their parent company is the News Corporation that we know as Fox Television Network. Yay! And, you know, the 20th Century Fox whatever movies and all that garbage. So, all right, well, with that in mind, on Zondervan's company profile page, okay, they print, uh, let's look at some of their people. Rick Warren, um, Annie Graham, I guess she's probably Billy Graham's daughter or some garbage, I don't know. Uh, let's see, yeah, the NIV Bible, you know, what can I tell you? And they're the largest printer of Bibles in the English-speaking world. The absolute largest one. And, uh, yeah, so they tell you, oh, yeah, we're Christian company here. We, you know, blah, blah, blah. So if you want an NIV Bible, you got to buy it from Zondervan. All right, next. Let's look at their company history. Um, let's see. They, yeah, they've got the exclusive license for the NIV Bible. And, uh, oh, okay. And then at the bottom of the page, it says, In 1988, Zondervan was acquired by Harper and Rowe, now Harper Collins, eventually leading them to be one of the two major publishing houses that formed Harper Collins Christian Publishing in 2012. And the reason they split it off into their Christian publishing was because when you searched uh, Harper Collins for Bibles, you know, you'd have the King James, you'd have the NIV, and then when you got to the end, it would be the Satanic Bible. And then people, so they what they did was is they separated the um, the business so that you wouldn't make the connection. All right, so Zondervan, exclusive printer, publisher of the NIV Bible. Now, one of the interesting things is in the original 1980, I think it's 84, the 84 printing, the original printing of the NIV Bible. Uh, this was the Bible that the gay churches in San Francisco would use because you'd be hard-pressed to find, be able to prove from the NIV that sodomy was a sin. Yeah, well, what they did was is they took out the word sodomite and they said shrine prostitute. Uh, is it okay to do it at the shrine as long as you don't charge or is it okay as, you know, is a prostitute a male or a female? You know, I, I don't know. So, 
All right, so let's take a look at HarperCollins. Uh, HarperCollins is the second largest book publisher for consumers anyways, not technical, uh, in the world. Second largest consumer book, book publisher in the world. All right, second largest. I mean, you know, that's, yeah. Uh, so let's see. They have a bunch of different... Uh, a bunch of different uh, companies that they own and do work with. So, you know, they say that they have 120 branded imprints around the world. That's different companies that they, uh, I guess, they own. Print catalog of 200,000 books. So, all right, let's go to the next page. Uh, all right, so on this page, they tell you that the, they're, uh, they were acquired by the News Corporation. Um, and uh, some of their people are that they print stuff for is uh, Tolkien and C.S. Lewis. Tolkien, you probably know him, if I remember correctly, he's the one that did The Hobbit, you know. And then C.S. Lewis, I, I just... I just don't like C.S. Lewis. I don't trust anything he does. It says right here that HarperCollins is a subsidiary of the News Corporation. And you know them. HarperCollins, you know, you know the News Corporation as Fox, the Fox Network. So let's go to the next thing. All right, right here you can see... Um, HarperCollins, uh, they own Thomas Nelson, Zondervan, print rights for the NIV, the New King James Bible. Yes, they also print the King James. And I've heard that they've been um, changing that even. So, I don't know. But uh, Bible Gateway is part of their thing. That's why I don't use it, uh, among other things. You know, so... Thomas Nelson, Zondervan, the NIV, the New King James Bible. You know, there's nothing wrong with the King James that you have to have a new version. You know, what can I tell you? So, all right, let's go to the next page. All right, NIV, Outreach Bible, Student Edition. See, HarperCollins Christian Publishing. Uh, yeah, so they, uh, they have the exclusive print rights for the NIV Bible. See, it says HarperCollins Christian Publishing, NIV Outreach Bible, Student Edition, Paperback, Zondervan, right? And like I said, you'd, have, you'd be hard-pressed in the original 1984, I think it's edition of the NIV, to prove that sodomy was a sin. The word sodomy didn't even appear in the NIV. A shrine prostitute. So I guess it's okay to be a prostitute as long as you don't do it at the shrine, or it's okay to do it at the shrine as long as you're not a pay, you know, get paid for it, I guess. I guess that's their uh, mindset. I don't know. I'm not an expert on these things. So... Next page. What else does Harper Collins prints? Oh, hey, the Satanic Bible. Yay! By the Church of Satan, Anton LaVey. His real name was Levy. L E V E Y. Uh, they'll try to tell you his real name is uh, Howard Stanton, but that's not true. Now, he was, he was a member of the tribe. Levy, Levy, whatever. Yeah. He changed his name to LaVey. You know, to protect the guilty. And, um, yeah, the Satanic Bible. And guess when? He founded this church in uh, June 6, 1966. So, 6666. 66. And yes, they have chaplains in the army and in the jails. I guess they tell people to just be yourself, you know. And um, they are an IRS approved 501c3. Um, uh, 
tax exempt church. So what can I tell you? Uh, here's what else they print. The Joy of Gay Sex by Charles Silverstein, another member of the, uh, the, the God's Chosen Tribe here. Yeah. The Joy of Gay Sex, fully revised and expanded third edition. A how-to manual on how to, yeah, how to be a sodomite and really, really, really um, get God to hate you and throw you into hell. Um, Charles Silverstein, author. Yeah, I guess, I guess he knows all about that, huh? Yeah. So, what can I tell you? Um, yeah, keep using that NIV, people. It's great Bible. Yeah. Uh, Satanic Bible and gay sex. There you go. All right. All glory to Jesus.